Next speaker on the list is Turkmenistan, His Excellency Ambassador Nurberdiev. The floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. At the outset, I would like to express my deep gratitude to the Swedish Chairpersonship for organizing this meeting, as well as for their hard work during this year in uniting the efforts of the OEC participating states in developing the goals set for the organization. The priorities of the Swedish uh, Chairpersonship define the OEC's uh, strategy in addressing threats to security and stability, the main approach of the organization in enhancing the effectiveness as well as other equally important aspects in the activities of the OEC. Turkmenistan appreciates the current level of cooperation with the OEC. Here, we would like to emphasize our commitment to a broad and constructive partnership with all OEC participating states that is in the interest of strengthening peace, security, stability, and sustainable development. In the context of current events in the world, it's necessary to consolidate our efforts to promote the goals and objectives of the OEC. One of the ways to achieve this goal is to restore confidence in international politics. In this context, in September 2019, the United Nations General Assembly, at the initiative of Turkmenistan, adopted a resolution declaring 2021 the International Year of Peace and Trust. In order to fulfill the provisions of this document on 12th of December of this year, the International Conference uh, Politics of Peace and Trust, the basis of international security, stability and development will be held in Ashgabat. We believe that this event will give an additional impetus to a constructive dialogue on topical issues of the modern world. Dear colleagues, despite the current achievements of the OEC, we clearly know that in the coming years it is necessary to do more on further reforming of the OEC and strengthening its role as an important instrument of international cooperation. More importantly, the goal set in 1975 hasn't been yet fully achieved. The 50th anniversary of the Helsinki Final Act provides us with the opportunity to consolidate approach uh, aimed at strengthening the OEC's contribution to building a security community by 2025. The main thing in this is to maintain a balance of interest of all participating states based on the ideals and the basic principles of the functioning of the organization. Regional processes play an important role in the activity of our organization in particular, the settlement of the situation in Afghanistan. In this regard, the task of achieving sustainable peace in Afghanistan remains important. We support the OEC's engagement with Afghanistan and we are ready for our part to provide our partners with the necessary assistance, constructively consider proposals for coordinating our joint efforts. Turkmenistan has been and remains deeply interested in the political stability and security of Afghanistan, the well-being and the unity of the Afghan people. At the same time, our country is in favor of the resolving contradictions by peaceful, political, and diplomatic means. Dear colleagues, ultimately, the improvement of the mechanisms of the interaction of, in the OEC aims creating universal conditions for the full realization of the potential of each member states of our organization. Cooperation in this direction should contribute to the formation of the single vector in our activities based on the balance of interests and ensuring mutual rights. The humanitarian dimension in the activities of the organization uh, has always been and remains one of the main areas of our joint work. A higher level of the mutual understanding between the participating states is seen as a guarantee of the effectiveness now and in the future. In conclusion, uh, we would like to once again address my sincere gratitude to the Swedish chairpersonship for organizing this meeting, as well as we wish Poland a successful chairmanship in 2022. Thank you, Madam Chair.